We are back at the Oi Rio Pro Porter final number four with Kolohe and Dino and Gabe Medina out in the water. Skipping over quarterfinal number three where Jordy Smith's going to get a bye into the semifinals due to John John Florence pulling out of competition. Kaipu Guerrero along with 89 world champ Martin Paul to talk you through it. Uh, back door, a pipeline where he is probably the best. And Dino goes to the air and just a little bit too much front foot pressure and has to ditch that one. You know, and the, the good thing is that Federico is not squandering those opportunities. Here we go with Medina pulling in on the backhand, gets the cover up, but cannot get the exit. I was on the beach when that, when that went down, Potts, and it went bananas. Here we go, Gabe Medina with the full oh, rotation, oh, oh. puts it down, stomps the landing, score that for Medina. You know what, and that's, that's what Medina does. I mean, he's uh, underneath the priority of Kolohe, and what does he do? No hesitation here, Potts. Let's see this full rotation all the way around on the back end. You know what, one turn was all it took. I mean, there was very little time for him to build a lot of speed and he found it, found enough to get up and above the lip and get that full rotation. One pump straight into it, connecting nicely, getting that upper part, upper body rotating first, and then the rest of it follows. So Gabriel Medina showing why he is a danger man. Beautiful vision from the WSL house there, and Medina flying through the air, and you can see the people in the background uh, starting to chip. High above, he's in the red jersey. He does have first priority, and Dino on the go. Looking down the line, has to force oh. that front side air reverse and gets caught up in the explosion. You could see that wave just sucking out, doubling up, and that ramp was super difficult to launch off. A little bit of a close out. Kaloi's gonna take it, but no opportunity for Andino. Posted two perfect tens in the final. He went on to the ISA World Juniors. Hello, Hapanrani. He did exactly the same. Two perfect tens in the final. Manages to pull that one out. And Dino up and riding. And Kolohe down yep. the beach, able to find oh. that get away from Medina. A little bit of a wheelie air wow. right there, but puts it down. Well, so it's a nice effort. Yep, beautiful tube ride there from Kolohe, and then a huge wheelie air. We know he has a late charge every single year. And here's Medina. Looking for a ramp down the line. You can see him eyeing up a section. And throws it, kind of forces that air. But is able to pull it off. And let's hear from Strider Wazalewski with the reaction from the crowd. Number four. Here's a replay of the last wave pots. Yeah, Gabriel Medina. And again, just waiting for that end section. And beautiful pop, tail high, backside reverse. You know, it's, it's a lot harder to do the straight air, let me tell you. Medina winds up. Throws it in the air and is not able to hang on to that landing. So we're waiting for a couple of scores, important scores for both Gabe Medina and Kolohe and Dino. Here we go. And Dino slicing off the bottom, snapping off the top, winds down the line, throws it in the air, air reverse, stomps the landing, spins the fins, and stands <laughs> proudly looking at the judges like, hey, give me that 6.24, I'm going to turn this heat. Here is the 7.33 pots. All right, let's have a look. First, nice little snap off the top there. Gets the speed all the way through the inside and uh, gets a nice little rotation. Let's have a look again from this angle. Beautiful snap through the lip there. Great maneuver, beautiful timing. Widens the stance, goes to the air, lands, fins first, spins it around. Claim, when you claim something, it, it's obviously that you've done something that feels good. Here we go. Medina floats that first section, lines up here for the ramp, throws it, lands on the roof, has to go into layback, and tries to swim his way out of that in front of the white water unable to do so now is he going to go back out or change boards looking left and looking for a ramp and has to throw it away stay away from the board there and wow so those are three sharp fins heading right to medina's face no harm no foul he's paddling back out but the clock is ticking down low has got to use it he can't afford to let medina go and dino with the block on Med Medina looking down the line. Now he wants to add some points to the board. Winds up, throws it to the air again, stomps it again, looks back at Medina, knowing that the clock is ticking down, and he is at the advantage at this moment. And there is absolute silence on the beach right now. Solemn crowd at the moment. Silence with 30,000 Brazilian surf wow. fans as we see... Gabe Medina eliminated from competition and Kolohe Andino making his way to the semi-finals.